Hey everyone, this is Arnivalus98, and here we have Dispensor, or Dubot, or the Mountain Dew robot from the 2007 Transformers movie. I'm surprised I haven't made him yet, um, but I, I've been meaning to make him for a while. I just decided to make Oreobot first since that was a much simpler design. I've been really enjoying my smaller builds recently, and as an added bonus, his instructions are actually at the end of the video if you want to skip to that and build him. And also, I do have his studio file in the description below too. And to start, here he is in his Mountain Dew vending machine mode. It is a pretty pretty much a giant green box, but like with Oreobot, um, I decided to make some custom graphics. I just cut up some paper and taped it. And this is a pretty simplified depiction of the actual vending machine. I didn't want to go all in on the details, but for some attention to detail, I did include the Mountain Dew logo that was present in 2007. And spinning it around, the back isn't as clean, but that doesn't matter. Just a bunch of robot bits. This thing usually faces a wall, so that's fine. And then uh, more, more great details, but that's cool. And like with Oreo bodies, uh, he fits in pretty well for minifigure scale. And at an added bonus, I have a custom printed, not really Mountain Dew, but close enough, a little can over here. It's a nice little piece. And I got this from a website called Eclipse Graphics. They make some amazing printed minifigure accessories and parts and also minifigures themselves. And yeah, you should definitely check those guys out. I have a link in the description below. I found out about them through Brick Fair where I did buy some of their things in person. And yeah, I really love these little printed cans. There'll be There's more of them for robot mode and they definitely help ties look together. And if you're curious, you can actually put the Mountain Dew can piece inside the little slot and it doesn't really come out by itself, but you can pretend. And for a comparison, we got my movie B and Ravage. Some Mountain Dew. And finally, here he is with Oreobot and these two look great together. They could definitely fit in well in a Lego city. And you can see over here, Dispenser is slightly a little thicker, maybe by a few plates compared to Oreobot. Um, his design is more complicated and he has like 50 more parts in Oreobot, which is surprising. But also I think the vending machine that the Spencer is based on in real life is slightly bigger, which makes sense since this thing is from 2007 and this is from 2014, I guess? Futuristic? Now let's get to the transformation. And the transformation is pretty intricate, but I designed it so that there would be minimal clearance issues. And we're going to start with the bottom. You have to peel these panels out like this. And this allows you to drop these little bits down like this. And then you can see all this just comes down. Next, you want to take these sections and rotate them outwards like that. And then fold all this up again and then bend it down like that. And then rotate this and then take this little bit at the end here fold it down and shift this all the way up and then this is going to fold up like that and then this is going to rotate around fold this to become the toes shift that out and rotate this panel and then collapse it like that and here's one leg and same for the other side and now you have a little box with legs a little mid mode Next you want to do is fold these panels down like that and down here and these are going to fold down again Rotate this upwards and fold all this through and you just want to peel this back Same for this side fold this and rotate this and rotate all this back and then put these two back into place Coming into the back here, you want to rotate this downwards like that and rotate that and this will become his back kibble. As you can see his weapon is hidden right there. You want to fold this up, just fold this up again and then push this back in and then his arm is actually hidden inside here and then fold this in again and then you can have a box with a weapon sticking out. And to further transform it, you have to fold this down again. And then you have to take this arm here and uh, straighten this out and rotate this again. And then you want to take these two panels, drop them, 
And that will give you a clearance to split this apart to reveal its head. I think that's really cool. And then rotate this section upwards. And rotate this upwards. And next for the chest, I really like how this one turned out. You fold these sections inwards as um, close as you can to get them together. Like that to create that angle. And then for these uh, upper arms that are actually formed from these top panels, you fold this up like that. And then you kind of unfold all this out like this. And then you rotate it again. And then you can drop this section down like that. And same for this side. And this is going to rotate backwards, fold up, and rotate, and then drop down. And then you can position his other limbs and to get him standing up. And then the backpack here, it's not really a backpack, you want to kind of tuck these into here. So they don't stick out as much. And just squeeze them back like that. And just setting him onto the ground. And here's the Spencer in his robot mode, and I really love how he turned out. He definitely captures the designs from the 2007 movie with the panels everywhere. And I made extra sure to get make sure the graphics on his chest and shoulders line up to how they are in vending machine mode. His head's a little bland. I wanted to add more detail, but it, um, everything kind of surrounds it, so I, I don't have a lot of space to work with. But yeah, he's pretty neat. And his back is surprisingly clean, just, uh, just some little panels that actually help fill things out. And spinning this little gremlin around. And the biggest challenge, which I'm very happy how this turned out, was trying to get his little soda blaster to integrate into vending machine mode without any parts forming. It was kind of a little challenge I made for myself, but I think this worked out perfectly. And you can take a closer look at this little soda blaster. It's made of those tiny um, Mountain Dew cans from Eclipse Graphics, um, and they look perfect on here, and they even rotate too. That's pretty nice. I know in the movie there's actually six of them in a ring, but for the minifigure printed cans, um, I can only fit four to make it look good. And for he is surprisingly articulate for his small size. His head can rotate 360. His lower arms are on a bunch of joints here. This arm even has like an elbow bend. And the upper arms are connected to the shoulder panels. They can also fold forward and back. And then the arms itself can rotate pretty high and bend. And then for his legs, they're pretty not too, that well. The big panel here is kind of cool. You can see the detail where he's like chicken legged and his toes can move too. And joint here, which is kind of cool because if you splay the legs outwards, he kind of has an ankle, ankle tilt, which is nice. And he surprisingly has a waist swivel considering some of my larger builds doesn't have one. But so you can get him in all kinds of cool poses. And yeah, so he's very fun to mess with. And at an added bonus, I also made this effect piece. And then you can take one of the soda cans here and just stick it on. And then coming over to the little cannon, you can just tab it right into here. And yeah, that looks pretty sick. For a size comparison, here he is with the minifigure and Ravage. My movie Bumblebee and Optimus. And the original prototype, which I haven't taken apart for some reason. Some Mountain Dew. And here he is with his buddy Oreobot, and these two look amazing together. Um, you can see that they're quite different in robot mode, despite the fact that they turn into very similar vending machines. And yeah, I definitely prefer Dispenser a bit more because I like his design. It's more like um, it's more like interesting, and also he is a he is a bit more fun to mess with too. And that is it for this portion of the video. I really hope you enjoyed Dispenser here. Um, he was such a fun build and a small little little build with a lot of personality. And yeah, the second half of this video is just instructions, so you can mount and do it yourself. And let's get started with that.